I, I mean, you. I mean, we, we obviously it's a it's a difficult discussion to have anyway an interview to do because we don't actually know when the next game is. So the the context of any discussion is 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 a bit weird because we need to actually have a date before we can say. But you're working towards this, and you don't have that at the yeah. moment. And you're sitting in a situation as new coach, being appointed, uh, haven't been able to 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 train with a team. You haven't been able to, and you might. It might, we might, and let's hope it doesn't get to this, but it might get to a point that this year you might not even get a chance to coach. It just personally, how's that affecting you? And this can't be um, easy. Yeah, no, no, it is, it is tough. Because the tough part is not knowing when it's going to start, you know, because uh, like most people, we, we are creatures of habit, you know, we want to know, listen, okay, our planning is we're going to start sharing with players uh, clips on on uh, Scotland that day. Mm. Are we going to start that? So our whole thing is probably rolled out in four blocks in terms of our coaching pl plan. Uh, and block one would have been from this day to this day. Block two is this day to this day. Block three is this day to this day. But currently now, we are probably, um, we can go block one and two, but now we don't know when block three is when you start focusing on, on the opposition and who you're going to play and when you're going to mm. play them. And you don't want to actually get onto the players too early because then you share information that they're only going to use in, like you rightly say, we might only play international rugby in September. So you don't want to actually give them a uh, steward ox catching or, or, or aerial profile in, mm. in April, but he's only going to utilize it in September. The player, it, it's useless information, you know? So, so yeah, that's the tough mm. part. Is, but, but we have a plan. And we, we we had a plan all along. So so for for me, the frustrating part is not 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 being able or not coaching a team, which I wouldn't have done anyway uh, mm. in this part. But it would have started, let's say, it would have started in July. Uh, uh, and the only coaching I got was with a, when when we did uh, visits to the to the to the franchises, you know. So mm. so yeah, that's the that's the that's the bad part. It's not. It's not. You you off the, the 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 training field. But I would have been off anyway. Uh, in terms of only when there was a game, I, I would have probably been involved with one or two or three training sessions. But so yeah, you miss that. Uh, but from the from a national perspective, yes, we we are preparing as if everything is going to start on the fourth of July, as as it would have, you mm. know, because nothing has been cancelled. So, so in our frame of mind, we are preparing for that. And as information comes through, and uh, 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 we uh, and, and we get shared with information from the government point of view, from world rugby point of view, uh, um, we will then adapt to that. So the moment we know, okay, listen. So, so the only, uh, if I can put it this way, the 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 fact of the matter is, we're playing the fourth of July in my head still, and we are preparing as for that, and we are on par mm. as for that. But the moment they come and they say, listen, yeah, in July these matches are cancelled and it's going to uh, uh, or postponed or whatever, then we will adapt from that. I, I take it it must be difficult in a way. And, and, and the question is, I suppose, how much information are you getting that we maybe not be getting on the outside as the media or the public or stuff? Because I know behind the scenes, SA Rugby is working very hard with the government to see when it is obviously safe to start rugby again. And... Uh, yeah, you know, when when we can all start looking, going back to some sort of normal. Um, how how's that been with you guys? Do you guys get more information than us? Do you uh, are you are you a bit more in the loop, <laughs> or is no, it everybody's I, I, up guessing? So no, I, I think we uh, yeah we get drip feed as as Yuri gets the information. You mm. know, so so and obviously I think probably your pay grade. Uh, determines what, how many, and how quickly you're getting information in terms of that. You know, yeah. in in all organisations, you know, it's probably need to know basis, and uh, and but but I mean, the 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 main thing that people has has told us was listen, um, we are up to when World Rugby decides or give make a call. We go on as as we are going to play mm. in in July, and 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 that's what we are doing, uh, and we are preparing for that, and we are making plans as for that. Uh, we are making plans. Uh, everybody's lots of speculations. Yeah, how long is lockdown going to stay? Uh, um, uh, but I mean, uh, you, we can literally just go on facts, and and the oh. fact of the matter is. What we currently know, it's, we, we have just finished week one and there's another two weeks of lockdown. If they extend it, then we have to adapt to that. Yeah.